Hi, this is Rob Grimm from RGG EDU, and today we've decided to give Kurt Von Dies a break, kick him out of the studio, and make you my retoucher. So I shot this image of the cheese on the medium format camera. This was using the Hasselblad H4D60. And I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to actually do the retouching on here. So you have now seen a lot of the stuff that we've done with Kurt and a lot of the techniques we've talked about with him that I like executed in my work. So what we've done is pulled out a couple different selections. There's this set of focus stacking without oil on the surface of the plate. And then we've got another set to be focus stacked with the oil on the plate. So I want to challenge you to do several things with this. One is work with the focus stacking. I have gone through and done the focus stacking myself, and I know that it does work. I will tell you that there was one area I had a little bit of trouble with, and it was right in here. So that's an area you want to pay attention to. When, my, when I did the focus stacking, it still looked a little soft, so it would need some sharpening in that, in that spot and a little bit of retouching. But here's some things I'd like for you to look at. We deliberately kind of made some mistakes on this because I wanted to challenge you in a couple different ways. And one of the things I want you to do is kind of work on the shape a little bit. There are things like the front of the cheese is a little bit rough and, the, and it looks dented and a little bit kind of blunt. So if we can work on bringing that to more of a point, it doesn't have to be a perfect point. In fact, if it is, I think it might look a little strange given what it is. And there's a big divot right here that I don't love. That's going to need to be kind of reworked and filled in a little bit. The other thing is that the blue cheese has some natural veining that looks a little strange. Like right here, there's just a dead straight line. I think that should be broken up a little bit so it doesn't pull the eye. And on the edge, on this side, you can also see a little bit of the indentation from the plastic wrap that it came in. I think that needs to go away and get smoothed out. Now, with all my work, I spend a lot of time thinking about composition and making sure that I don't have things that... Uh, pull the eye and have bad tangents and just don't quite work. And here we actually put some in deliberately because we want you to develop the skills to retouch, which are kind of shoot insurance for yourself. So you can go back and you can fix something that's wrong. So here are a few examples of some things that I think that you should work on, and I want to see what you can do. Right here, there's a hole in this bunch of grapes that really kind of pulls my eye. I mean, it, it's this kind of dark grouping of grapes to begin with. And then we've got this little hole here that just doesn't help us. So that needs to go away and be filled in. If you look at this red pepper right here, it's the same type of pepper that's going on in the front, but it's, it's really misshapen. In fact, it's got two dents. It's got a dent in the front of it, and it has a dent on top that's really giving it a flat spot. So I'd like to see you reshape this a little bit, get rid of that dent, kind of round this out a little bit more so it feels a little bit more natural. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be better than what it is. Something to also look out for is tangents. And tangents are lines where one object runs into another and ends in kind of a weird way. And we've got two bad ones here. The first is where this cheese comes down and it ends right here at the edge of that olive. It just needs to be bumped over a little bit. That olive needs to be expanded or something so that we can break it out and it doesn't end in a straight line going down like that. It just They intersect kind of strangely. The other spot that's kind of messed up is over here on this block of cheese. And again, we have uh, a yellow pepper kind of resting on the block of cheese, but it's resting right on the edge. So you can see the line of this cheese comes down, it's cut, it comes right here, and the edge of that pepper rests right on it. I'd like to see that break a little bit so this line isn't so straight and solid. Have that pepper kind of break in and just give it a little bit more relaxed feel. And another area where I would challenge you is right here. Uh, this doesn't bother me so much, but it is a little funky. So we might want to take a look at maybe repeating this grape and kind of building it in a new way to kind of fill in that area so it just doesn't have quite that same kind of almost, there's almost like Mickey Mouse ears going here to tell you the truth when I look at it a little bit further. So that is another area what, that I want to challenge you and see what you can do. Overall, don't forget about exposure. Uh, look at the image as a whole. Think of where we might want to add some fill light. Do we want to bring a little fill light in on this side and just kind of give it a little kick up in that uh, edge of the cheese? Do we want to maybe vignette a little and kind of burn some of this foreground down so it's not so bright and maybe the same in the back? I would look at areas like that. And this area is also really pulling my eye. It's a real hot spot. Uh, obviously, the glasses of wine are a little hot. Those are areas you want to pay attention to. But all in all, I think that this is a good, solid image for you guys to work on and get some practice kind of 
working with retouching, not only on exposure, and, but working to help kind of boost the composition a little bit, where we had some intentional uh, bad tangents and a couple of mistakes that we want to correct in post. It's Like I said, it's good shoot insurance. So if you go back and you think, oh, why did I do that? I missed that completely. You'll know how to fix it and make the image uh, a solid portfolio piece. So basically that's it. Go ahead and play with the focus stacking. Uh, I'd like to see what you do with both versions, the oil and non-oiled versions, and uh, kind of see what the final result is. The nice thing is if you work on one of them, say you, t you take the one that's got no oil on it, you could really kind of build that whole thing, get it finalized, do a second focus stacking for just the plate with the oil, and then drop that in on top of the other one. You wouldn't have to repeat all the retouching. That's something to keep in mind. That's a big time saver for you in the future as you're going and doing a bunch of your work. Uh, I really want to see what you guys do. So please post your images up on our private Facebook page. I want to give you feedback. I want to tell you what I'm seeing that I really like. And I'm really curious to see what you guys are going to do with the image. So thanks so much for being my retoucher. And we're looking forward to seeing your results.